originally in Spanish, second half of 2022. About the fibers falling from the sky. Angel hair, seen in many places and for centuries, sometimes falling over especially but not only southern Europe. Many of these fibers are composed of graphene from chemtrails, as has been said before. But they are not only that. There are other fibers that have nothing to do with chemtrails or agendas. This was analyzed here and apparently has never been done before. Sometimes fighter craft will come back with those fibers stuck to the exhaust nozzles of the plasma jet engines. So they set out here to investigate what they are. And they are mostly borosilicates of weak molecular cohesion, inert. What are they? Trace elements with a large percentage charge of silicate fibers, sand. What the Tigetans have concluded is that when passing through an atmospheric zone with high sand content, as happens in Spain with the sand of the Sahara Desert suspended in the stratosphere and in any other atmospheric level, these fibers condense when they come in contact with the magnetic impulse motors. What happens is that the engines are not only a jet of hot plasma or combustion gas as in a human reactor, but the plasma of the jet output of these ships has specific frequencies that are highly controlled by the onboard computer, as I have already described in previous works about the operation of frequency control engines, modulation of output frequencies. In other words, they wrap the ship in the frequency of the destination, transporting it right there, as described in detail before. So those output frequencies, plus the intense heat of the plasma, can generate or manifest a condensation or gather or group certain elements suspended in the atmosphere, creating those threats. They have very weak cohesion or solid state properties. In other words, they are simply a byproduct of the presence or passage of a large spacecraft with jet plasma engines or controlled plasma frequencies. It is a trail they leave when atmospheric conditions are appropriate, such as when there is Saharan sand suspended in the atmosphere. That's why they have so many boron silicates, as they have been laboratory tested. And they are a very weak manifestation, that's why they melt in your hands. And the borosilicates are a consequence of the plasma motors? No, they only condense into fibers by the heat action and the specific plasma output frequencies of that type of engine. Wow! But if there is no sand, they are not produced? That's right, they would not be produced. Or the result of those fibers would depend on the components previously present in the atmosphere. However, there is almost always a considerable amount of dust suspended in the atmosphere and all over the world. And is that detrimental to terrestrial biology? It depends on the components previously present in the atmosphere. But for the most part, I can assure you that they are inert and do not cause any harm. But the ones that have been tested in the lab that stick to your ships, are they the same ones that fall on Earth that are being found here? Or is that more graphene from chemtrails? Or is it both? It is both. Yes, 
graphene from chemtrails falls to the ground. I am talking about another phenomenon that is separate and centuries old and first documented – angel hair. Is there a way to distinguish them? Only in the laboratory. But I would insist that if they disintegrate to the touch and are very weak, they are inert borosilicates. But if they are strong as fibers that resemble spider webs, that is, with strong tensile strength by mass, then it is quite likely to be graphene. And those fibers necessarily have to do with spacecraft, because they don't condense in the nose of the spacecraft, as if it had flown through an area with that suspended in the air, but they condense in the nozzles at the back, around the engines. They are hanging like needles, so they are produced by these.